Hi, everybody. Sorry, our cat's just got into like a huge fight. I'm sure you heard a little bit of that. Hi, everybody. Hi. So we are uh, doing basically an all new build today. We are building a Bacaneco with um, Duroc Palms uh, and uh, Sugar Plum. Uh, sugar Plum. Nice, nice, nice Sugar Plum. Yeah, we're gonna try and like crank through looping these switches as fast as possible. I'm gonna not film these. Um, if you guys are regular, you know I usually film Duroc linears, um, Duroc switches in general, um, uh, but especially Duroc linears. But the ones that we put in the Noir Kiko, um, we did not film. Uh, and so in order to like get a feel for more of how the switches sound, uh, I want to try them in a different board but not change any of the other va variables. Uh, so that is why we are doing what we are doing. Is there a group by page for Bakke Neko? I believe Bakke Neko is supposed to be in stock and it is starting on Wednesday. Okay, it looks like it's coming with an O-ring, the carrying case, uh, the case itself, an FR4 plate, and a PCB, uh, but only hot swap. Ah, okay, four colors, dark blue, or hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll say this exactly as, as they have it listed. White, black, aqua, and navy blue. So I have the aqua color. Spray loop with mayonnaise? Sure, buddy. Whatever you want to do to your keyboard. I don't judge. So I think this is 36. We need 70 for Baki Nickel. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 19. Somebody do 19 plus 36 for me. All right, my brain no work here. Um, ooh, other things I can talk to you about. We have, um, while you're here, first off, thanks for being here. I know we're literally just looping switches. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, we have a lot of protos coming up. I know I keep saying that, it's because it keeps on being true. Uh, we have a Piggy 60 proto on its way to me. I have a, that really cool Topper board, uh, out for delivery right now, uh, from Niz. I have another Salvation that we're gonna be building fairly soon in red. Uh, I think we could bring Alan on for that. Would you guys like Alan and me to both build the Salvation? Uh, that way we can get like additional, like helpful build guide stuff for you guys since I built it and he hasn't. Could be good. We have more, we have a Stellar 65 that we will be building eventually when I get the green light from the wonderful space. Those are the ones that are coming up in the next two weeks, probably-ish. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Uh, what's the Tupper board? It's from Niz. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Ah, got it. It's the Niz Duo 82. So it's, uh, it's this one. I don't know how many of you guys remember this one. Pig 60 is so cute. I'm crazy excited for that. You guys know I bought a bear. I'm sad I didn't get two. That's all right. Does anyone know if I can use gun oil to bag loop springs? My dude, you could use melted butter to bag loop springs. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. <laughs> so my auto mod hooligan held your message and it held it for, so it always gives me like the reason. So the reason for this was sexual and the word it flagged was little. I d <laughs> Breathy apey sounds. Let me just breathe into the mic for a second. Hello everybody. So here is the Bacaneco. All right, so here's everything I received. All right, so in this top bit, I assume this is exactly what's gonna come with yours. We have our staves, our FR4 plate, very cheap, very nice. Our, I believe this is a hot swap PCB. Nice, happy with that. And then we have a daughter board and then some spare hardware and an Allen wrench. Yes, these are clipping. Yeah, so most O-ring mounts like this are clipping stabs only. Screw in, tend to fuck with the O-ring a bit. Does it come with the cloth? As far as I'm aware, yes. That's an interesting make or break thing, but yes, I believe it comes with the cloth. This is the carrying case. It's the usual Canon keys carrying case that comes with their boards. And there's our cyan. Our aqua, sorry, it's called aqua. There you go. Finish on it is pretty okay, actually. It's better than I was expecting. There's definitely little lumpy bits in places. You can definitely see machine marks in places. I'll try and zoom you guys in and kind of point these things out. Uh, the inside is a little scuffed too, but you got to remember the price point as well. You're not going to get crazy nice finish for this price point. So there you go. You can see kind of roughness in the finish along here. Can you see that very well? Hopefully. 
Um, you know, there's definitely scuffy bits. You can see kind of those lumpy bits of paint on the inside. Uh, I'm not sure if I can show you that well. I've got to like catch it with the light to show you guys texture, but there's definitely texture on, on the inside. It's definitely inconsistent as they even say themselves. Um, you know, this is nothing that wasn't expected. You can kind of see that down here. Now on the outside, I will say it's a lot smoother, generally speaking. You can see kind of little scuffs. Can you see that one right there by my finger? But overall, the finish on mine at least is pretty all right on the outside. There you go. There is a little bit of scuffage around the USB-C port. But overall, I think it's all right. I mean, it's $120 for the case. I'm expecting tofu quality, so. Also, I think I said machining marks. Obviously this isn't machined. It's casted as I already mentioned. Uh, I guess just like casting marks would be the right, right phrase. You can see marks. All right, looks like even with the daughter board, we're having some gapping around the USB-C port. Again, that's not really points off for me, really. I expect that. I'm not expecting a crazy high quality finish on the board. It's cheap as fuck. <laughs> Don't judge me for the state of my desk. I'm too busy to clean it. Don't come for me. Thank you, chat. Boba Fridge is staring in your soul. He has some things he wants to say to you. You know, if you didn't do anything wrong, you would have nothing to be afraid of, so. More Poke and Chill. I love me some Poke and Chill. I hope it doesn't, uh, hope it doesn't mess with you at all, Cinda. Bless your heart. All right. Uh, <laughs> my Achilles heel. Putting in daughter board cable. This one's not even hard, I'm just stupid. Also, I don't want to test the durability of this paint live on stream. All right, so this is actually my first time taking a look. Is it gonna be in stock like their Honeywell? Yes, it's actually in stock like right now, if I'm not mistaken. Live on Canon Keys. Again, we do have an affiliate link with Canon Keys, so if you want to check this out, you please consider using our affiliate link. Give me a little bit of kickback, no extra cost to you. I'll just keep the stream going. What's the difference between double shot and reverse dice up? So double shot is when you have uh, two molds, essentially. So you injection mold two plastics. Dice up, even reverse dice up, is basically you're dyeing the keycaps. Um, so that that is the difference. Uh, technically, double shot will last longer. Are the keycap tops smooth or textured? They are textured. I would say it's not the most textured, but it's not particularly smooth either. It's nicely in the middle. Let's go. So this is the Bakaneko with Duroc Palm switches that have only been lubed, no films, uh, and the uh, everything else is stock from, from, from the kit. So uh, let's go. That's a very good sound for the budget. I will say too, I'm finding it a bit stiff. Uh, stiffer than I expected. The right side, I think, is a bit stiff. So if you look at PBT Notion, you'll probably notice there's some bleeding on the die sub over certain of the colors where it looks a little bit bolder than other places. I will say, I think PBT Notion and this set have essentially the same texture, which is also about the same texture as Infiniki. So feel-wise, texture-wise, they're all about the same. All right, so there's PBT Notion. Looks to be the th same thickness as Sugar Plum. The same thickness, actually, if you look. An unsurprising but significant uh, increase in the quality of the <laughs> reverse dice so on the nice PBT versus Infiniki's extraordinarily grainy uh, reverse dice oving. All right, so there's the three against each other. Anyway, 
I really like the quality of this key set. I think it's it's pretty high. Um, I think probably out of the three, I'd consider it to be the highest, uh, the highest quality. All right, guys, enjoy. Uh, I will see you guys later. Keep your eyes out on the YouTube channel for the typing test. I will get that up as soon as possible, hopefully before this goes live. Um, love y'all. Goodbye. <laughs>